Welcome to the tutorial on using layers, zooming and panning in Google Earth. We'll just have a quick overview of Google Earth first. Over here on the right hand side, we have our navigation tools. We have north, south, west and east. And then below that, we can zoom in and out, as well as pan left to right. You can also use the plus and the minus, or the slider, to zoom. OK, I've zoomed in on downtown Auckland, and I want to show you some layers now. If you come down to the bottom left hand corner, there's a large selection of layers. Now keep in mind that for every layer you have turned on, it slows your computer down that much more. The layers I want to show you, however, are in the gallery. So if I click on gallery, and I want to turn on 360 cities, you'll see that a number of red 360s have appeared on your map. Now if I scroll down a bit further, I want to also add the YouTube layer. And again you'll see the YouTube icon has appeared on your map. OK, now if we click on one of the 360s, I'll choose the Sky Tower. A pop-up window opens. And if I click on the image, Google Earth zooms right in on the image. And then I can use my left mouse key or the navigation tools to move about this 360 degree image. This shot here is part of that 360 degree image. OK, let's exit this photo. And we can have a look at the YouTube clip. Click on YouTube and you can see a video clip has been added to the Sky Tower. I'll let you watch that later. OK, let's close that. And the last thing I want to show you today is another layer. So if we just scroll back up and it's 3D buildings. Click on the arrow and then photorealistic. And now you'll see that a number of buildings in downtown Auckland are in 3D. Keep in mind though that that layer specifically will slow your computer down. Well that's all we have time for in this tutorial. I look forward to seeing you in the next Google Earth tutorial. Good luck everyone.